I think the goal for all men is to be inside a woman's mind because to really be able to conquer them and get the girl you want, you almost have to decode them. What is it that they're even looking for? And since, well, none of us have telepathic capabilities, but what you do have is your best friend Jose, what I'm gonna do for you is give you something pretty close to that. Today I'm gonna give you the 10 things women are thinking of, are noticing in us guys, but they ain't telling you this stuff. They don't teach you this in school. If that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. The number one thing girls will notice on you is your six pack. Now, you don't have to be super shredded because believe it or not, most women aren't attracted to that. For you to have a six pack, you usually need to be under 15% body fat. That's when you're gonna start seeing some sort of definition in your stomach. To know this, you're gonna need to be measuring your body fat. What I like to use is this scale. This is the body analyzer scale from our sponsor, Vita Goods. Now this scale will give you a good projection or estimate of what your current body fat is and it does this using a light electromagnetic shock. You put your height, your age, your activity level, and your gender. Then you just step on the scale and it'll tell you your weight, your body fat percentage, your muscle percentage, and even your water and bone density. Honestly, this is an all around scale and something that I recommend every dude to have in their bathroom. That way, every time you wake up, you're fully fasted, you can step on the scale and see how your weight is doing and your body fat percentage is doing. And the good thing with this is that you can start scaling your nutrition. So for you to actually have a six pack, it's not made in the gym, it's made in the kitchen. That's not a cliche. It means that you need to start eating cleaner and making sure you're not in a cal caloric surplus to the point that your body will start storing the, those extra calories that you're eating into fat. Instead, you need to be in a caloric deficit. In other words, you need to be eating less calories than you're burning a day. That way your body will start burning up the fat that's stored and your six pack will start to show. And with this scale, you can see your progress and make sure that every day you're actually making progress and you're eating healthier. Now, if you guys wanna check out this scale, it is pretty expensive because it's pretty high end. It's not your average scale that just will tell you your weight. But since they're a sponsor, and of course, I wanna hook you guys up to make sure that when girls see you, what they see is a Greek god. The guys over from Vita Goods really hooked it up for you guys, giving you a 70% discount, which is absolutely insane, and will make this scale an absolute steal. So if you guys want to check out the scale from Vita Goods, I'm gonna have these guys linked down below. The second thing women will notice is your structure. In case you don't know, women scope out alpha males. Like literally, they'll scope out dominant males in society and what they usually use are visual cues. A man's silhouette and their body structure, it's one of them. So you gotta make sure you have a masculine stance, a lean torso, a built chest, and broad shoulders. Do this and you'll make sure that your alpha presence will tower over other dudes and she's gonna notice. Which rolls on to number three, a dominant scent. Again, believe it or not, women can literally sniff out dominant males in society, and a good, strong fragrance will do just that. This is why fragrances are so important and why you should really start looking for strong, masculine fragrances that you can use that will help you stand out from a crowd. Another natural approach to this are just your natural T levels or testosterone levels. Believe it or not, males that have high levels of testosterone, which you can gain from your diet and working out properly, have a unique natural scent that's different from males that have lower T levels. Number four, you're swearing. Now whether you're for or against swearing, culturally swearing is just synonymous with somebody that's of lower education. Whether that's true or not, that's none of your business. The truth is that this is what culture sees and what women believe. In other words, when you're expressing yourself around her, make sure your vocabulary is not only filled with swear words. This is gonna make you look like an intellectual male, somebody that's smarter than the rest of their peers, and she's gonna notice that. Number five, wrinkled or worn out clothing. Now women, they don't care too much about brand names and how hard you're flexing. It doesn't matter if it's Gucci or Fucci, the point is that the clothes needs to fit you right and it can't look like it's falling apart. Don't be the dude that will wear a t-shirt that's stained, that has holes, that doesn't fit, that's stretched out, or even worse, that's all wrinkled. This is just a direct reflection on your personality and how little you take care of yourself and you value yourself. Number six, your smile. This is one of your most captivating assets. Think of this as an I like you sign you flash to girls from miles away. And if you combine that smooth smile with some confidence, I guarantee you, it doesn't matter how crowded the room is, 
she's gonna notice. Number seven, where your eyes are looking. When you're with the girl, she's gonna notice where your eyes are looking. So when you're with her, you wanna make sure you look into her, her eyes because that just shows confidence. If you're constantly avoiding her eye contact and you're looking away and jittering, she's gonna know you're insecure. If all you're doing is staring at her rack, she's gonna know all you wanna do is bang her. And if she catches you staring at other girls, she's gonna know you're just a pig. The eighth thing women notice are your clothing choices. It's not so much about how stylish you are, but more so the clothing that you choose to wear that day. Were you just lazy, boring, and a bum and decided to just wear sandals and basketball shorts? Or do you put effort into every aspect in, of your life, including your clothing, and decided to wear something better like some nice fitting denim and a button down? Trust me, that's what she's noticing and what's going through her mind. Number nine, your greeting. How confident were you when you first contacted her? Did you look at her straight in the eyes without stuttering with without skipping a beat and giving her a warm smile? Hi, who looks like a carrot? Conan O'Brien. My friend um, Hannah here thinks he's sexy. That's weird because I think that your friend Hannah is really sexy. Or did you just freak out, shake all over the place, avoid icons, and talked so low with your voice that she had to ask you to repeat your name? That first contact is something that she's gonna notice because that's what's gonna set the tone for the rest of the conversation. And finally, number 10, your overall body movements. Are they slow, aloof, and confident, or jittery and nerve-wracking? If it's the latter, you're just gonna make her feel awkward because she'll know that you don't feel comfortable in that interaction. And that's basically it for today's video, guys. Those are 10 things that all women notice in dudes, and you need to make sure are always on point. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Vita Goods. If you guys wanna pick up that scale, It'll be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.